the Thursday, the 22nd of September, we're going back to whatever we were for a week. And that thing, school, a little tired. I edited the vlogs until 1 o'clock yesterday. Two, one show today, just one. And then we drive for two hours to another city. And I'll tell you the name when I can remember later. And that's it. Not that much happening today. And I'm gonna edit a million vlogs again. So let's go. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. Are you doing good today? doing the whole show and what now we just clean it the last stuff oh my god i can't lift this with one hand <laughs> packed everything down and now we're gonna drive to the next city it's two hour drive so it's not so bad yeah oh no so he's telling me about ferry stories because we're gonna take a ferry today and uh, the old crew started puking on a trip to Bonhomme. so uh yeah good show good riddance and I should stop telling you what we just did because I just filmed it. I should tell you what we're about to do. So we're about to go somewhere with that beautiful ferry and uh, drive by seat in the street. All right, before we hit the border, the, the harbor, look at how beautiful it is. Bro, you need to swim the rest of the way. Talked about this before in the vlog. They have these special cars. How fast are we going now? 30. 30. So they have like teenagers driving them and they can only drive 30 and then they have this big red thing on the car and then we just have to go I'm slow. Get off the road. Buy a moped man. What? It's like I can get out and run faster than this. Look. Stop. This is And see you later, teenager. Wow, finally some speed. Let's go. We made it to the hotel. I was in a meeting with the Danish beatbox community. We're organizing Danish champs, and that means that I didn't have time to check in properly. I just ran in here with all my stuff and headphones in my ears. Yeah, so it's like headphones, my laptop in one hand, my bag in the other hand. It was a little, a little chaotic. And then I just threw everything in here, and I started doing the meeting. But check the hotel room, a nice hotel room with our own bath in it, because, you know... I don't know what's going on lately, but apparently we can't have our own bathrooms. And look at this. You remember me always talking about suicide windows, how everything in Sweden is protecting you. Well, check this window. Not only can I open this window, I can actually jump out of this window. Check this out. So that's pretty cool. So the meeting, we talked about the Danish championship, it took one hour and a half, and we talked about some of the last stuff. We have less than a month to the Danish championship. I was saying the second, but it's the 11th Danish championship, but it's the second that you guys on this vlog are going to see. It's the 22nd of September, and we have the event the 15th of October, so it's less than a month. We're just fixing the last stuff. We have three judges. We talked about some food money for the judges. We talked about, you know, we talked about a lot of stuff. Should I, I should, I told you I wanted to share it with you, and then I'm like, oh, a lot of stuff. Can you not remember? We just, oh, did you hear that? This laptop is crazy. I'm gonna be the co-host. We're gonna have Chung as the host. He's very charismatic and he knows how to talk to people and look them in the eye. So he's gonna be a very good host. But I'm gonna be the second host, his co-host, just standing in the back, making sure that every time he doesn't know what to say, I can tell him this is what's gonna happen. Because the last many years, I've been <laughs> running around in the room and then whenever they don't know what where we are in the program or something changes, then I'm always yelling from the audience and I'm trying not to yell so they can hear me I'm like now it's this we have to do this first right so this year I thought it's much better if I'm just the co-host and then I can be on stage with a mic and I can tell the audience what's gonna happen as soon as the host doesn't know or if he needs a break or if he forgets where we are right I've been practicing being a host for a long time now with Freestyle Fanatics and uh, I got this now I wanna get the young beatboxers a chance to practice other stuff than just beatboxing so if they want to try hosting or they want to try organizing or judging stuff like that 
then that's available at our champs. So what we did, since I'm going to be co-hosting, Simon is actually going to be one of the five judges. We need people to help us because usually it's me, Simon, whoever is in charge. We are the day, like the event elmin is what we called it. So all the questions goes to us, right? Whenever people need something, something's not working, we've got to fix something, then they come to us. And this year, with me as a co-host, Simon as a judge, we can't do that. And we haven't talked to the other guys of the Danish thing. You know, we have a, a board, an executive board in the dance beatbox for training in the union we have. I think we're six people and some of them got kids, some of them are busy. So right now it's just Simon and I who are doing everything. Some of the other years, the other guys helped us do stuff, but we haven't talked to them so much this year. So they're going to come and watch it, but I don't know if they have time to do that. So we're going to ask for... An event element. Then Crytex had an idea. He was like, we should do some shout outs for the Danish YouTube channel. He wants to be in charge of that, so he's gonna do that. We also need a stage manager. We will need somebody to clean the mics. We need somebody to write on the diplomas. And we need somebody to be a runner for the judges so they can bring them drinks and stuff. So we're gonna write a post and ask for some volunteers and try to get someone in the community to help us with that. We have to find some prizes for the winners of the championship. And uh, I got to fix a sponsor this year. And then Simon is going to spam it out to a list of, that we already made. And hopefully they're going to give us something. We also talked about some t-shirts that we need to fix. We need the Danish championship t-shirts. That's very important for me and, and for everybody, right? Because it's only memory. But it's something that I'm like, we need it every year. I don't care where, but we just need to find the money somehow and buy at least 50 t-shirts so all the contestants can get one and we can get one, us who are working all year to make this event happen. Other than that, we're gonna get a group of young people to promote the event the last three weeks, so hopefully we can get a few of them to make some posts, some videos and some graphics stuff. We're gonna of course ask Louis to do a showcase, he's the Danish junior champion, so we need a showcase from him. We're also going to ask a good friend, Vilas. You saw him a week, two weeks ago. I met him at the Metro, right? And he does crazy dancing and crazy juggling with mics and beatbox. And it's pretty cool. So he could do a showcase. And then, of course, we're going to ask our own boy, Roxo Loops. Everybody knows him from TV. So hopefully he will do a showcase and we can get some people to come to the event. So that is the plan. Now, I just got to edit some vlogs. And did I tell you, I bought a new computer, I told you some days ago, and this is crazy. I mean, forget about the lights, I think I can turn them on, but I don't really care. But it's really good. I have this, I bought the stationery some years ago, and I paid pretty much for it, because I, cause I got to edit videos and do all my music. And then we started touring like crazy, and I'm, when I'm home, I don't have time. I'm home one, two days, and... I have so much to do. So it's been a little weird, you know, having this really expensive computer just sitting at home and being used like once every month. I'll show you how far behind I am on my editing. Look at this. A little beat for us. Hey! Hey! That's so funny. There's Louie and check this out. Oh my God! Who's that? That's S doing a showcase. The Danish champion. Wait, I think I have Louis somewhere. Oh! <laughs> this is before he's a champion. So he got a little stage practice and that probably helped him to smash the event. Oh, you look at him so happy and so young. So, uh, yeah, I got eight dogs today. So. I'll leave you on that note with a...